tip and trick of the week. This came up um, last week. This could have been an implementation, but it's it's a, a rather simple thing. And this was how to send text messages out of Zoho campaigns um, using Twilio. So Twilio seems to be what a lot of people are using. And um, we've been talking about this for a while and it's kind of neat because if you've got a campaign going out, let's say you're doing a drip campaign. Uh, matter of fact, we're gonna do this for our upcoming webinar. So we're doing a webinar on the last Tuesday of this month, which is uh, overview and best practices for analytics. It's kind of in our, our ongoing monthly series. And there's gonna be a series of emails that go out to our mailing list that say, please click here to sign up, please click here to sign up. And then the day of, we're gonna do a text message and the text message will say, just a reminder, the webinar is about to start in an hour, click here to sign up or, or to go watch it. Uh, and so you can do those kind of things in campaigns now with this whole SMS function. And so we hadn't really set it up using Twilio before and we went in to do this and we ran into some interesting little problems with it. And so the key thing that you wanna do is you're going to have to set up a couple of little variables. And right now for the uh, audience that's listening, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick little video tutorial on this. So there are a couple of things you need to do if you wanna send a campaign out using SMS, using Twilio, and I think this is gonna be across the board. Number one, most likely when you've done your synchronization or you've set up your list, what you haven't done is pull in the person's, um, the, you haven't pulled in their mobile phone number and you haven't pulled in the country that they're in. So you're gonna have to go into all of your synchronizations and you, a lot of times you just got last name and email. You may have company name if you're doing some tricky things. Maybe you've got their first name, their last name, their company and their email. Most likely that's gonna be it for most mailing lists that you're doing. But in order to send out a text message, you're gonna have to put the mobile number in and then mailing country is also required. And you're gonna map that to the country field inside of uh, uh, campaigns. And then when you do your campaign and you're doing your SMS campaign, it's uh, pretty straightforward. It's gonna ask you to select your gateway. So in this case, you'll have Twilio set up and you'll go ahead and you'll select your Twilio gateway. And then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and you're gonna to wanna to configure your content. And this is super nice because once you lay all this out, you can use spaces, you can use emojis, you can use all sorts of things in there. It's just nice. And it gives you an actually a real view of what it's going to look like once you've got your content in there. And then you're gonna go ahead and add your recipients. So I'm just gonna drop in this uh, newsletter mailing list here. And um, the key thing here to kind of talk to you about all this is this configure fields. Now you have to choose a field and you have to choose country and you have to choose the phone that you're gonna to choose to send it to. But here's where it gets a little interesting. For the country, what Twilio is looking for is the country code. So the United States is one. So if you, the old days, you dial one and area code and the number, you don't really do that anymore. But internationally to use most VoIP services, you have to put the number plus in there. So it's plus one. And so what you're trying to do is get plus one in there. So the way Zoho is looking at that is they are actually doing uh, a lookup of the country and putting it in. So it has to be, if you're in the United States, United States spelled out, uh, uppercase U, uppercase S, lowercase other letters. Uh, we recommend that you actually, rather than have an open field country, um, area in your CRM, and whether it's in a contact or a lead, that you, you actually create a pick list and these actually exist inside of the CRM. You can say, hey, I want a predefined pick list and I want it to have all the countries in the world in there. And this is gonna give you that exact formatting you need when setting this up. But this is kind of the big gotcha, is this country field here. You cannot create a field called country code and put your plus one in there, your plus 44 or whatever you wanna put in that won't work, we know, we tried it. So uh, that's the that's kind of what you need to do here. It seems a lot, uh, it, it's very, very simple at the end of the day, but I think this can really, really trip people up, that whole thing around, you know, it's looking for the actual name of the country in order to properly enable that. So 
So anyway, so that's pretty much all there is to setting up your uh, gateway to send out uh, your SMS messages using Zoho campaigns. Hopefully you found this useful. Thank you.